Uh, this is time to prepare topology file of the protein structure which we have cleaned in the last step. The topology file contains all necessary information to define molecule within a simulation. This information includes non-bonded parameters and as well as bonded parameters. We will talk about this topology file soon. Now question comes here how to prepare the topology file. The topology file can be prepared by using a one command which we are going to talk about. The first part of the command contains gmx. What does it mean by the gmx? The gmx is basically letting the Linux system to initiate the gromix which is installed in the Linux environment. The second part of the command is pdb to gmx. Now what does this part is doing? pdb to gmx is a program of a gromix system. Now this pdb to gmx program will prepare the topology file for us. The next part of the command is the file input. To give an input of the file we will type dash f and the name of the file which is test underscore clean dot pdb. The next part of the command is to define the output file name. To define the output file name we will type dash o and the output name file which in our case is test underscore pro dot gro. Now keep it into mind that dot gro is a file extension which represents that this file belongs to the gromix. In the next part of the command we are going to define the water system. To define the water system we will type dash water and the type of the water system which you want to use which is SPCE. After typing this command we will hit the enter button and as we will hit the enter button there is going to be a menu in front of us. This menu is letting you know about the different type of the force fields which are available in the Chromix. Do you remember that in theory we have explained that how to prepare the topology file? Yes that's right. The topology files are going to be prepared by using the force field. These are the 15 type of the force fields which are available in the Gromix system to prepare the topology file. In this case, we are going to use the OPLS force field to prepare the topology file. To use the OPLS force field to prepare the topology file, we will type 15 which is 15 and hit the enter button. As we will hit the enter button, our topology file will be prepared. Now where is our topology file? Now let's type the ls. As you will type the ls and hit the enter button, now you can see the number of the different files which are here. If you have noted it carefully, then there are the three more files which appeared after this step. The first file is posre.itp file. The second file is test underscore pro dot gro and the third file is topple dot top file. All of these three files are very important for the molecular dynamic simulations. Now let's move to the folder. Now in this folder there is a topology file which is topple dot top. So let's open that topology file into the text editor. To open this topology file in the text editor let's right click on it and then open it into the notepad. Now this is a topology file and we need to inspect this topology file. The first very important line in this topology file is this one. This line is letting us know that what type of the force field is used to prepare this topology file. <clears throat> the second very important information here in this topology file is the molecular type. Here in the, this heading of molecular type we are going to have an idea the molecule which we are going to use is protein and this is going to have an only one chain which is a chain A. Under this information we are going to have a tabular information. Here in this tabular information we have a number of columns. The first column in this table is NR. The NR represents the atom number. The second column in the table is type. The type represents the atom type. The third column in the table is RESNR. This represents the amino acid residue number. The fourth column in the table represents the atom name. The fifth column in the table 
which is entitled as CGNR represents the charge group number. The sixth column represents the charge which is present on the atom, while the last column represents the mass of the atoms, which will be used in molecular dynamic simulations. We hope so that now you will have a better idea how to prepare the topology file using the force field and what type of information is present in the topology file.